We're not black Jews. We're not Jewish. Uh, we're not adherents to Judaism, the tenets of Judaism. Um, we're practicers of spirituality versus religion. They can make all kind of exceptions and, and creative uh, immigration rules that allow for Ukrainians and, and all others to come in. Uh, but when it comes to those of African ancestry, we, we seem to be the target of very, very uh, crafty uh, wording and, and, and loopholes that, that, that define us on the outside. Something about different communities. Um, and I think we're going to try. Who do they think is going anywhere without their babies? Like, I had a breastfeeding baby. When I received the letter, my child was five months old. And it was like, oh, yeah, so you got to go. So what's supposed to happen with my babies? Like, I have a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and a baby at the time. What, 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 what's supposed to happen with my children? They would study outside sitting on rocks in the cold and the heat, and it forced us to establish our own institution. The establishment of the state of Israel was based on the fact that Israel is the ancestral home of the Jewish people, right, or the people of the Bible or the people of the book. We identify as being part of that people as well. And so we came back home by divine calling like a lot of other people did. What is the reason why? We are the only people who have not been accepted after 50 plus years in Israel. That's something that nobody can be able to explain. Why? Hey, and hey, you, you Jakes, you know, we are kicked out of the, out of the land by Yahweh and uh, for, no, for, a, for a good reason, man. So you cannot establish your own righteousness and try to be over there, you know, because that is not the way. You need to walk the straight gate, man. And a lot of you don't want to walk the straight gate because why? They was following a guy named Yah uh, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, you know, false prophet. You see, and that's why they are there over in the land. But we're gonna be there in the land if Yahweh Shai is gonna come in and gonna establish that new, the new kingdom of heaven, man. Then we are gonna inherit the land back, man. Cause hey, uh, the heavenly Father Yahweh kicked us out of the land. So if you are going there on your own accord, but meanwhile you are in a punishment, you know, and you try to get out of that punishment, hey, you do it by yourself, man. So, uh, first and foremost, I want to give the highest honor, glory, and all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father in the Paleo Hebrew tongue. Bahashem is in the name of Yahweh Shai, is his only begotten Son and our Redeemer and Savior. Uh, that the world ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Bahashem is in the name of Racha is the spirit and Kodash is holy. I also want to give double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who teach and do rule well and taught us the truth out of the Bible and amongst other things. Peace and salutations to the elect, my fellow laborers who push in this word and work in truth and sincerity all across the four corners of the earth shall warm. So yeah, man. Um, so like I was saying, man, you know, they try to establish their own righteousness, man. So uh, let me go to a scripture.
God. This is uh, the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 3. For they, being ignorant of the heavenly Father, Yahweh, uh, righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh, of Yahweh, the, uh, our heavenly Father. You see? So, if you try to establish your own righteousness, and meanwhile you don't know the heavenly Father and what His will is, and His will is that we are now in captivity, man. So we got to take this, you know, until uh, 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 we are gonna be redeemed by Yahweh Shai. Then you know we can, uh, you know, then we can be back in that land. You see, but now. The, this land is given to the Gentiles, man, to the heathens, and we're going to go over there too, man, you know. So you cannot establish your own righteousness, man, you know, and a lot of them are, are, are ignorant of uh, the, the righteousness of uh, uh, Yahweh, man, you see. And our people too, man, because, because they was following this guy, man, and he's a false prophet that uh, Yah Yahweh ben Yahweh, man, you know. So that's why they lead astray, and he's and that's why you are uh, uh, being afflicted over there in Israel, man. You see, because the small heads don't love you, Jake. Every, you cannot escape from your uh, from that curse that Yahweh Bashem Yahshai uh, put uh, put on us, man. And Jake tried to establish his own righteousness and tried to get away of the curse, but that is not how it goes, man. You know. Everything got to be done in decently in order, and this is that order that we uh, gonna be uh, in that land when Yahweh Shai is gonna come, when, yeah, when the, the the heavenly Father Yahweh gonna send His only begotten Son to uh, to redeem us, man, and set us back in that land, man. That's the only way. Like the small heads, they are not there because Yahweh Shai put them there. They did it by their own accord, by the Balfour Declara Declaration. You see, so that is not the right way. The right way is when Yahweh Shai is going to come and put us over there, man. And that is also for you, uh, Jakes, who think you can go over there because you know now that you are an Israelite and you want to go back in that land. That is not the way it's supposed to be, man. The right way is you wait for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man, that he ordained, you know, the prophecies are fulfilled and he sent his son and he going to redeem us and going to put us over there, man. That's the right way, man. So yeah, man, I made this video because uh, somebody on the comment board was uh, had a question, you know. So um, let me go over there real quick. But Salakia, yeah, first I want to show you that uh, guy uh, Yahweh Ben Yahweh. Bear with me. Khan, this is here. This is this is uh, Yahweh Ben Yahweh. You see, and he was acting like he is uh, Yahweh Shai man, and that he was the one that he was the way and that he's going to lead the, 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 the sheep, the lost sheep of Israel back to the land, man. And that is a lie, man. He died, I think, in 2007, something like that, you know. But, hey, he was lead, he's leading the people astray. And now the people, now these Israelites are over there and catching hell, basically, you know. Because it was not the right way, man. You know, because they was following this guy, man, that you see here on the screen, you see. Well, that is not the, the the right way, man. And he was the one who's leading it because they was following him, and now they are there over there in Israel, you know. And uh, the 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 they have, hey the the government of Israel, you know, the these small heads give them the 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 worst places over there, man. If I'm correct, they are having their uh, communities there uh, next to an, uh, a nuclear plant. You see. So they catch you know, all kinds of, 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 of chemicals and uh, radiation, you know. So, Jake, what you are doing, man? But, hey, and, yeah, Jake is what I was reading in Romans chapter 10 and verse 3. They try to establish their own righteousness, man, and that is not the way, man. So, yeah, man, so now I want to go to the comment board, you know, and uh, we're going to read the question that somebody posted. Bear with me. Bear with me. It was in the community post. Uh, let me see. 
Oh yeah, this is this article uh, of the Times of Israel that I posted, and somebody on the comment board was asking me, you know, of asking me. He said something, you know. Uh, yeah, this was uh, uh, this is Apollo, Apollo, Maya Ami. Apollo, I am me, yeah, something like that, you know, uh, brother, if I uh, didn't uh, say it right, uh, but he said, like, uh, uh, he was answering, uh, responding to this article, I was answering, like, uh, I was questioning, like, how you claim to be an Israelite and get kicked out uh, your own land, but it is our, it is, it is not our land anymore, because, uh, the Most High, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, gave it uh, to the Gentiles, man. And we're going to go over there, man, because uh, like I was saying before, we went in captivity, man, you know, and we was kicked out of the land because of disobedience and uh, defying the uh, the the law, statutes and commandments of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. So he kicked us out of the out of the land. You see, and when and then we went in captivity. Then that was what was uh, happening. But now we're gonna make the scriptures uh, speak. You know, because yeah, this article is the same article, uh, uh, like for what you see here in the video. You know, so I'm gonna bring that up, and let me go through some scriptures, man, because we're gonna let the scriptures speak. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32. And first, we go straight to the point. Verse 26. 26 so, like, yeah. This, uh, I said, I would scatter them into corners. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men you see so we was we was we were scattered uh, to all four corners of the earth man you know and our remembrance that we are israel was ceased or uh, from uh, among men you see and that is what has happened that's why nobody knows that we are the real children of israel man that's why these other uh, people, these 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 smallheads, took over our identity and everything. And literally, uh, I was googling uh, a few days ago. I was googling uh, uh, Hebrew Israelites, and now you see faces of smallheads, man. So Google also altered the 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 search, you know. So because they want to claim that they are the people, man. You see, because before they was calling themselves Israelis, you know, and when you was googling Hebrew Israelite, you immediately gonna see Jake, man. You know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. But now it's not like that anymore, man. Because you know they they are straight, so they you know they need to pull some tricks, you know, to. <laughs> Tell the people that, uh, you know, to let the people see that they are all the Hebrew Israelites, but that is not true, man. But it is a lesson for all the time, you know. But, uh, yeah. You see, we've been scattered, all, uh, we've been scattered, man. And that was happening. The Most High took us out of the land and scattered us among the nations, man. So, well, let you go to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Um let me jump down because we were cursed by Yahweh by Yahweh man. Uh you see? So let me see. And as this chapter goes in uh, goes goes really in uh, into it, man. So this is uh Deuteronomy chapter twenty-five verse uh chapter twenty-eight, so lucky verse twenty-five. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt, thou shalt go out one way against them and flee several ways before them, and shalt be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. That is what was happening with us, man. Till the day of today, we are scattered among all the nations. You see, 
this is what the Lord did, man. He took us out of Israel and, and he scattered us amongst all these nations, man. Because why? Because our uh, because of our disobedience. You see? That is what's happening, man. So uh let me jump down to verse 37, you know, to answer the the question of the brother, you know. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, a byword among all nations, whether, whether the Lord shall lead thee. And uh, that's why we got all these byways like uh, uh, nigger, uh, uh, wetback, uh, red skin, you know, all these byways. These, that is what we, that, and that is fit in us, man. We get all these byways, man, you know. And let me go look up that word uh, astonishment. Hey, one four four. Call all y'all by Shemir Shai. You see? Astonishment. Strong's H eight thousand forty seven. Shema. 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 And uh, that means uh, astonishment, a waste, horror, appalment, a waste of land, of city, appalment, horror. You see? So we became, we became an astonishment, a horror. And let me look that word up, appalment. Let me look that up. What it really means, the meaning. It's a lucky, uh, appalled, no appalment meaning. So, lucky, bear with me. Appalment, countable and uncountable, plural appalments, the state of being appalled of uh, or alarmed. Uh, Bear with me. I want to look at it at the at moment line. You know, let me break it. I want to really the real breakdown of it. Uh, at the moment line. Yeah, it is appalled, you know. But we're going to look it up. Also appalled. To grow pale. Uh, Salakia so like, also appalled early 40th century to fade, uh, 40th century to grow pale from old French appalier, become or make pale from A to uh, to C at palier, grow pale from Latin paler to be pale from pi root pale, pale, you know, uh, the transis. The trans, uh, transitive meaning caused dismay or shock is from the 1530s uh, related to appalled, appalling. You see? So, yeah, man. Let me look for a moment. Uh, I want to jump down a little bit. Let me see if we can find something. Yeah. Not really give me that, you know, that satisfaction. But let me look that word apart. That's better. Greatly dismayed or horrified, you know. You see? And we are dismayed. We, you know, we are horrified. You know, we are astonishment. We, because everything was happening uh, in the transatlantic Atlantic slave uh, slavery, and everything was happened to us. You know, that was it was horrible. You know, but that is that is one of these curses, man. You see. So bear with me. We go back. You know. So you already see horror. Uh, and the Strong's definition, it goes in uh, ruin by implication, consternation, astonishment, desolate, waste, a wonderful thing. 
So yeah, man. So we be astonishment, man. We be a horror. You see, uh, yeah, that is what I want. You know, uh, and let me look up the word proverb too. Strong's H forty nine twelve, Marshall, Marshall, and that goes in uh, a proverb, a parable, a proverb, a, a proverbial saying, aphorism, a byword, a similitude, parable, a poem, a poem, sentence of ethical wisdom, ethical maxims. And what is that ethical maxims? Let me look it up. You know, bear with me. Uh, meaning. Salakia. A Dio. A deo ontological ethics. A maxim is thought to be a part of an agent's thought process for every rational action, indicating it is a standard form, the action or type or action, the condition under which it is to be done, and the end or purpose to be achieved by the action or motive. And what is the synonym? <laughs> Definition. Yeah, you get the same, of course. Uh, or oh, a maxim is simply a moral rule or principle, principle which can be considered objective or subjective and depend on one's philosophy. So, okay, ethical maxims. So let me go to the Strong's. Uh, apparently uh, from H4910 in some original sense of super, uh, superiority in mental action, probably uh, uh, a, a pity, a pity maxim, usually of a metaphorical nature, usually of metaphorical nature. So like, yeah. hence a a smile, a smile, as an adage, poem, a discourse, a byword, like a parable, proverb. So yeah, this is the word proverb. But that is what we turns out to be, man. So everybody, they, uh, you know, <laughs> we are the we are the joke of the town, man. Everybody makes makes fun of Jake, you know. Got a lot of words for Jake, you know. And that is what it is, man. And that is really fit in us, man. You know, what he was reading here, man. So let me read it again, and thou shalt become an astonishment and a proverb and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee, you know, because that is what it is. Everywhere where we are going, man, hey, Jake is always the, the joke of the town, man. They always, you know, always have bywords for Jake, call him all kinds of names, you know, that is what it is, man. Be treating, uh, being being treated very bad. Look, is the, uh, the the these Jakes that went over to uh, to Israel and uh, to live over there, you know, because this is one of the part of the curses, man. You cannot escape these curses, man. You see, so I want to jump down also to verse sixty four. Bear with me. Uh, uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 64 and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone you see so we are been we are serving other gods man you know okay, okay now on this particular time we uh, you know we come back to the heavenly father and his only begotten son and now we serve in only again yahweh by shem yahweh but when 
you see Jake still, he said, all these other gods, man, you see, Buddhism, uh, Christianity, uh, uh, Sachere Boshe, uh, Muslim, they had all kinds of other gods, but not the God of Israel, man, not the God of Abraham, uh, Isaac, and Jacob, because that is our power, man, you see, and that's why Esau, especially Esau Edom, tried to keep us far away from the Heavenly Father, man, our power, you know, because he knows when we are back with our power, Israel is a force to be reckoned with, man, you see, because they know, man, what our power did for us, man, in the ancient days, man, you know, the angels was always with us, Yahweh, Yahweh was always with us, you know, because they know, man, and then it's done, it's done, it's over, man. So, yeah, man, so, you see, and Jake is, is, is scattered all over the earth, man. All these nations, man, you have Jake, man. You see? That's why we always said also, like, hey, man, you have uh, uh, descendants of Jacob, Israelites, who maybe look like the heathen, but they are not the heathen because they are Israelites, man. Our spirits are bear, bear a witness with the, uh, their spirits that they are one of us, you see? So, yeah, man. So uh, let me jump to the book of Leviticus to show you that the Lord scattered us, man. You see? You got so many scriptures on that. Uh, this is Leviticus chapter 26. And we go straight to the point. Salakia. Khan, verse 33. And I will scatter you among the heathen and will draw out a sword after you and your land shall be desolate, and your cities waste. And that is what happened to us, man. We was kicked out of the land, and that's why Jerusalem was left desolate, man, till the day of today, you see? But now we have Gentiles living over there, people who say that they are, they are us, but they are not us, because they ain't fit in the prophecies, you see? But this was all ordained by Yahweh, man, the Heavenly Father, you see? And that's why every the Most High put us out, man. 70 AD, the Most High was done with us, man. You know? So, uh, let me jump to verse 38. And ye shall perish among the heathen, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. And you see, we've been, we've been swallowing up by in, in these other lands, especially in Babylon, the great America, man. But everywhere where we are, we've been, hey, we've been, pfft, we have, Jake got it really bad, man. That is no joke. Everywhere where we are, man. And that's, you can see that the curses are cleaving onto us. That the Most High, Yahweh gave to us, man. So you cannot establish your own righteousness and go back in the land. What you think, what is going to happen? It is not sanctified by the Holy One of Israel. So what you think what is going to happen if you're going to go there by yourself and think you're going to live there and create your community and create your own righteousness? It ain't going to happen, man. It needs to be sanctioned by the Heavenly Father, man. Yahweh. You see? So, yeah, man. Let me go to the, to the book of Luke. Because a brother was posting that too, you know, a beautiful scripture. You know, because that is what it is, man. Luke uh, chapter 24, Salakia. This is Luke chapter 21 to verse 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. You see? So what was happening? Esau, Edom, you know, in the time, you know, uh, with, um, in the time of Titus, you know, and, you know, they, 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 they ransacked the temple and took everything down, man. And, hey, we was lost, man. They took us out of, uh, our, we was kicked out of the land by Yahweh Shem Yahushai. But that's why now the Gentiles, you know, they live over there. And, they, this are, and this, these are the real Gentiles, the heathens, you know. These are not the Israelite foreigners. But, but now the time of the Gentiles is being fulfilled. So that means that if 
the prophecies, everything is coming to pass, you know, that he saw Edom live in his life and everything, you know, he, the things that he do, does in, in, in uh, Israel, you know, the way he, 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 he living it up, basically. His time is now being fulfilled. We are almost at the end of all the prophecies and his time is going to be fulfilled, you know. And, and because Yahweh Bashem Yashai, he really uh, was fixed with us, man. That's why he, he gave us a way, scattered us among all the nations, and we had to serve our enemies, man. You know, and he 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 sanctioned it that the heathens uh, could uh, take over Israel, man, Jerusalem. You see, that was what's happening, man. So let me go to the book of uh, Ezekiel. You know, because this lesson we let the scripture speak because this lesson is gonna take too long. Um, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36. And let me go to first. Yeah, let me start with two. And these are the... the, the this is... Uh, this is, is, is Esau Eden speaking, and mainly the Amalekites, you know. Uh, and let me start with two. Thus said the Lord power, Yahweh, because the enemy had said against you, aha, and that is how the smalls had to always say the aha. Even the ancient high places are ours in possession because they took with joy in the heart, they took uh, the land, you know. And till the day of the day, you see the small heads living over there. And also the other ones, the Palestinians, they don't belong in the land. Because the land belongs to, you know, really to uh, to you people, man, you Israelites. But these Israelites who are going over there right now, hey, that is not the appointed time. The appointed time is going to be when Yahweh Shai is going to come, man. You know, the Redeemer, our Savior, he's going to put us back in the land, man. When the kingdom of heaven is going to be established and he's going to sit on the throne. And King David <laughs> is going to come back and, you know, the house of David is being bu uh, built back uh, again. Then we're going to be in peace and we can live in the land over there. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be fruitful again. Everything is going to be all right, man. You see, Salakia. My mouth is dry, drink something. You see, and this is what they say. Aha! And matter of fact, uh, uh, let me go to a short clip, then you can see that they are saying that, man. Yeah, I want to go to a clip of Eddie Murphy, you know. Uh, a real short clip, but he, uh, you know, he do uh, he does all these char uh, characters, you know. And uh, he also had an, a, a, a Jewish guy over there, you know. Uh, you know, <laughs> and he's also uh, uh, imitating one of these characters, but... The way he do, he do it, man, is exactly how they are, <laughs> the way that they speak and how the way that they act. It is on point, man. And we was reading Ezekiel, you know, uh, chapter 36 and the first two. So, uh, like I was saying, they, they say, aha, and that is exactly what they do, man. Watch this, man. It's wrong. It's a soup too cold. Will you just taste the soup? All right, I'll taste the soup. Where's the spoon? Aha! Aha! You see? Aha! <laughs> exactly, man. You see? What do you know from funny, you best? Aha! Aha! <laughs> hey, you know that Eddie Murphy, you know, he, he play, maybe he you know what or something from the Bible, but this is exactly that they are doing, man. Aha! And they're so glad they took over the land. You see? So that was really funny, you know, but uh, let me go back to the book of Ezekiel. Bear with me. So let me read it again. This is Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 2. Thus said the Lord, uh, uh, the, said the Lord Jehovah, because the enemy had said against you, aha, you know, and that is the small head, even the ancient high places are ours in possession. And they took over the 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 they, they tread, trod down Jerusalem. They took over the temples. They took uh, they took the, they took whole Israel, man. You see, <laughs> and that is what is uh, what it is, man. 
so uh yeah let me jump also to five you know i don't want to read everything i want to jump to first five therefore does it the lord uh, yahweh surely in the fire of my jealousy have i spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all idumia and uh idumia is the greek saying of edom you know which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart with the spiteful minds to cast it out for a prey you see and that is what these devils really did uh, did and do until the day of today but hey like i was reading in the book of uh, luke it is will come to an end man you know it will come to an end man really and we are, are, are really heading uh to the fulfillment of the of the prophecies man you know and also meaning the fulfillment uh, the fulfill the uh, fulfillment of the gentiles man so we're gonna be exalted uh yeah of course yeah how about shim they're gonna be exalted but we also gonna be exalted with him man you know we're gonna be always under him because we are his children man we are the chosen people of uh, the most uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahshai, man. So we cannot forget about that, man. So, yeah, man. Let me jump to the book of Lamentation. Uh, verse 4. And let me go quick into it. Uh, yeah, first, yeah, first 21. Because hey, Esau Edom, we went to we went into captivity, but you also gonna go now in captivity. The Lord is gonna turn our shame into glory, man. You see? Because that is what is going to happen, man. Because why? We are turning back to our power, man. And that is he's rejoicing to see that we are awakened again. And this was prophecy. You see? So uh this is Lamentations chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. That dwelleth in the land of Uz, the cup also shall pass through unto thee, and thou shalt be drunken, and and, thou, and shalt make thyself naked. You see, and that is what is right about now. The Most High is making these Edomites bear these so-called white people. You know, He's exposing them for all the lies, the uh, the horrific crimes that they did against the children of Israel, and uh, matter of fact, also over the whole earth, how they terrorize in this earth you know wars everywhere you know and they're being exposed and now when you tell them tell them you know now they try to deflect and gaslight everything you see and that is what they're doing man and matter of fact uh bear with me let me uh, look up that word gaslighting what that means bear with me let me look it up gaslighting Gaslighting, meaning. Yeah, what are the what are gaslighting behaviors? To gaslight someone means to manipulate another person into doubting their own perceptions, and that is Esau is masterminding that with his media, with his control, and especially these days, man, he bring it to the fullest he is gaslighting everything you know he makes sure that uh that the the, the uh, uh, uh uh good is bad and bad is good he switch everything upside down man you see uh what are the gaslighting behaviors the gaslight to, to gaslight someone's means to manipulate another person into doubting their own perceptions experiences or understanding of events according to American Psychological uh, Association so you see man and that is what it did also uh, they tried to rewrite also what was happening with the children of Israel that uh, slavery well uh, benefited us and they always did that man and that is that gaslighting what this devil do, uh, what he's doing, man. Yeah, because they don't want their children feeling guilty. What their forefathers did, man. The horrific shit that they did. They don't want to talk about it. Because that is a, a, an Edomite is always deflecting everything. He don't want to be confronted with the truth. 
He hates the truth. That's why he's the devil, you see? Because he's against the truth. He don't want to be faced with the truth. Where you tell him like, hey, you, uh, uh, Elder, uh, Elder Manata Zahba was, uh, uh, I was watching a video with these uh, three little devils came up to the camp, you know, and, you know, that was what they was doing, deflecting, gaslighting. And that is what the Edomite does. That is their specialty. You see? Deflecting things. Don't want to talk about it. Now they're going to act. Now they were the perpetrators and now they're going to make you be the perpetrator and they are the victim. And that is the way they're working, man. They always do, they're always doing that. Now you need to feel yourself guilty. Like, hey, yeah, oh, sure, okay, I cannot talk about it. Okay, now slavery was not that bad. Yeah, you're right. No, we all, yeah, no, we are all equal. Yeah, no problems. Meanwhile, you benefited of slavery, all the riches, till the day of today. You are the top of the top on this world. You see? Still, you let the children of Israel live in a ghetto. Still, they live in poor conditions. All, all this is all a result of what you did in the slave in the time of slavery. But it was such a long time ago. Forget about it. You, you have the same benefits like everybody. That's a lie. You still, you're a liar, man. You're the devil. The Bible speaks of. You see. So that is the meaning of gaslighting. You know, I drive a little bit off, but that is a character tra uh, character trait of an Edomite, man. You see, but let me go back to uh, the book of Lamentations. So, lucky, bear with me. Gone. You see, so the Most High is going to pass. Let me read it again. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee, and thou shalt be drunken, and shalt make themselves naked. And now they're being exposed. You see, and mainly to the prophets, man. Because we are, are, are through the words of Yahweh, through the words of Yahweh by Shem Yashai, we are exposing uh, Israel Edom and also their own people, man, are exposing them, uh, whistleblowers. Everybody's coming out about the, 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 the things that you're doing in the dark and it's going to, and it is being exposed and makes manifest as what you are doing, man. You see? So that's why they're in a hurry to, to make all kinds of draconial laws, you know, that you cannot speak about them and uh, uh, you can call the global elites and because uh, especially them, you know, that you cannot call them out. You see, they are, they are in panic mode, man. You see, because they are being stripped naked. The Most High make them bare before he's going to give the final blow to these devils, man. You see, and this, the cup of the Most High, when he gave it to you, he gave it to us too. But the cup of the Most High is full of lamentation, is full of 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 of, <laughs> of, of, of horrible, horrible times that is coming to you, man. You see, uh, verse twenty-two: the punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. We, the children of Jacob, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the re the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites, he will no more carry thee, uh, carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. And the Most High knows what you did, man. He ain't for gonna forget, man. He ain't talking about like it is 400 years ago. You need to get over it. It's such a long time ago, slavery. You know, we are, yeah, I forget about it. You have to stop crying. Yeah. No, the Most High ain't forget about that, man. You know, he, uh, he discovered your sins, man. And you're gonna get punished, man. You see? So does it a lot, man. He faces thine iniquity. He, he, he knows the wickedness that you've done, man, and still are doing. It is getting worse every day, man. You see? So you are done, man, Esau Edom. Hey, Jacob is going to rise and you're going to fall, man. And that is what is going to happen, man. You know, to quote a little a quick uh, a refer, a Revelation 13, Hey, he that go, he that leadeth the captivity shall go in uh, captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the faith and the patience of the saints. You see, so the Most High is for an eye and an eye, for eye for an eye, man. 
You cannot escape the judgment and the things that you did with the children of Israel, man. You see? Because we are his holy people, man. We are the, his children, man. And you did something horrible and horrific with us, man. And the Most High ain't going to forget. You see? So that's why, man, it doesn't matter that you go in the land and going to live there, you know, and try to, and now I'm talking about Jake, you know, about the article and the movie of uh, Salaki about the, uh, the news article that we was uh, watching and, you know, the video that we was watching that you cannot establish your own righteousness and go over there, man. You see? Hey, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai knows that you're an Israelite. You don't have to be over there to make it known that you are an Israelite. And that, that, that guy, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, had mis uh, mislead you, man. You see? To go over there, man. Because you're going to always be an Israel. It doesn't matter where you are, man. Matter of fact, let me uh, go over there. Bear with me. Uh, second Maccabees. So like you. I don't know what I'm doing, man. Maccabees, chapter 5. This is Second Maccabees, chapter 5. And let me see where I saw it again. Yeah, perfect. Uh, this is Second uh, uh, Maccabees chapter 5, verse 19. Nevertheless, the heavenly father, Yahweh, did not choose the people for the place sake, but the place for, uh, for the people's sake. You see? So we wherever we are, man, the most high didn't make that if you are living in Israel that you are gonna be an Israelite, man. Nah, man, you know, we are a people first, man. You know, we are first a people, man, than the place. So it doesn't matter where we are, man. You see? Because he chose us according to uh to the the holy seed, the promise that he made with our forefathers, man. Because Jacob uh, Jacob was the one that was named Israel after uh, wrestling with the angel, man. You see? Then his name was called Israel, man. You see? Because the Most High dealt with the Holy Seed, man. And the Holy Seed went from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You see? And not through Esau. And that's why Esau wanted to take back his birthright because he was the oldest son, the wicked twin brother, our wicked twin brother. And that's why we have amity for effort with each other man you see because Esau really wanted to kill Jacob you know because he took the blessing but it was all ordained by the heavenly father you see so uh let you go to the book of Isaiah bear with me let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 2 Khan, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 2, verse 2. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow onto it. You know, and mountains means governments and, and hills are lesser governments, you know. And the, hey, we're going to sit in the highest mountains, man. We shall be exalted above everybody, man. You know, all the nations, and that's why the nations gonna they're gonna uh flock onto us, man, because they're gonna see when the the new kingdom, the, the kingdom of heaven is being established by Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, they're gonna see that hey, we are the children of Israel, man, that we are those holy people. So everybody's gonna flock onto us, man. You know, all the nations, man, they're gonna cleave onto us, man. You see? That is what is gonna happen, man. So yeah, man. And uh, this is an other cut for these people that are now over in that land, you know, because if 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 it was so that the real Israelites, the real the real people of the Lord was in that land, listen to this. And many people shall go and say, come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us his ways and we will walk in his path. 
for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. You see? So everybody will, all the nations will come and flock onto Israel, man. You see? And they want to know the way of, uh, the way that, uh, of Israel. And that is something that is, nef is, is, is not happening in the world, man. Uh, Putin don't want uh, the, 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 the alphabet agenda in his land. Because that is all righteous, uh, <laughs> it's all righteous rules, man. There's all righteous decrees, you know. That is not the law of the Mosai. That you will have a, a pink parade in the in your land, and that everybody in the world is gonna uphold it. Everybody's protesting. All the nations don't want that madness in their land. So, if you were the real people, everybody was falling in and obeying your laws because why? The heavenly Father was with y'all, but that is not the case, man. So, that is also a cause that you are not the people that uh, that are over there. That you are the real people, man. Because you don't uphold the laws of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh You see? And this is the other cut. Verse 4. And he, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up a sword against nations. Neither shall they learn war any more. So if the real people, the real Israelites, the people, the holy people of the Most High, going back in that land, Israel, there shall be no more war. The nations will fight no more. There will be peace on earth. And you people are over there. It is only war, man. <laughs> you need to protect you every day. You got the Iron Dome and everything. So who's lying? Somebody is lying over here. You are not those people. You are not those people that are there in the land, man. You see? You made a false uh, <laughs> a false claim that you are the people by the Belfort Declaration, man. That, that's the way you came there in, uh, in that land. You see? So that is the, the other cut, man. So you see, hey, it's going to be no more war if the Israelites going to be, if Yahweh Shai is going to come back and establish the kingdom of heaven, you know, through our heavenly father, Yahweh. Hey, man, there's going to be peace on earth, man. We got, it's going to be rest, man. No nation going to fight against another nation. No more bombs, uh, being afraid, uh, uh, you know, wars everywhere. No, it ain't going to happen when the real children of Israel is going to be established in, this, uh, in the country again, man. It's, you see it, man. So these people don't fit the prophecies that they say that they are the people of Israel, man. You see? But we need to, uh, need to wait patiently till Yahweh Shai is going to come and going to put us back in that land, man. So that is what we are waiting for, man. That's why we are sighing and crying for all the abomination that is done here upon this earth, you know, and for our redemption, man, and for our wickedness and the way that we transgress the law, man, against Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You see? Because we need to make mens with the Most High, man, because He was really vexed with our people, man. And we went as a whole nation in captivity. And that is also going to happen with you Edomites, man. There is no one of you that can say like, oh, no, but I, my forefather did nothing. Now you're all like a whole, with the, the whole nation. You benefit also, you benefited also from the spoils. And you're going to go in captivity as a whole nation, man. Like we did, man. You ain't going to escape this judgment, man. You see? So, yeah, man. Uh, let me close out with the last scripture, you know. Where we add it, this is the book of Isaiah, we stay in Isaiah chapter 14, to go over there, yeah man, uh, first one, you know, Israel, Israel stomped, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and the Lord have mercy on us, man, at the end, after our uh, iniquity, what I was reading in the book of uh, Lamentation, Hey, the Lord is going to have mercy upon us, man. You see? Because our captivity, our punishment is over, so, man. It is over soon, man. Because why? The remnant, the, 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 the elect, the chosen one, and Yahweh at the South, we are of the, the, that number, you know, is turning back to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man. And we make amends for our sins and everything that we did and transgressed against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh So he's hearing us, man. 
You see? So he going to save us out of this, man, out of this hellhole, man. So let me read it again. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, because that is the promise he made with, his four, with, uh, with, uh, with our forefathers, with Abraham, with Isaac, you see? And Jacob. And will yet choose Israel, you see? Salvation is only for the nation of Israel, for nobody else, man. And set them in their own land. What? Uh? What he gonna do? He gonna set them in their own land. What? He gonna set them and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. You see? <laughs> This is what is going to happen, man. The Most High is going to set us back in the land again, man. And like I was reading in uh, Isaiah uh, chapter 2. Hey, we're going to have peace, man. There's going to be no more wars. If, if, as soon as we're going to be set back in the land. Hey, and that is going to be under the rule and order of Yahweh Shai. Because to, to, to him was promised his kingdom. He was that sacrificial lamb, man, that went on the cross for who? The nation of Israel. For who? The nation of Israel. He didn't die for everybody in this world. No, he only shed his blood and died like a sacrificial lamb for the nation of Israel, man. That is through the whole Bible, man. This book was for the Israelites, man. For nobody else. And I don't care, you, 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 you people, if you get mad. Like, oh, you're for the Gentiles. No, no, no. The, the Gentiles are Israelite foreigners. There is he, they are drafted also in, you know, because they are from the lineage of Jacob, from the seed of Jacob. And if you're not of the seed of Jacob, you are not in. Sorry to say it to you, Jack. You are not in. And that is what it is, man. So, yeah, man. Yeah, uh, to the brother, man, uh, who was asking, you know, uh, why... You know, uh, that is their old land and why they are kicked off uh, the land. Yeah, it is because of, uh, uh, it was not ordained by our, our Heavenly Father, man. You know, he need to put us in the land. Like I was reading in now in uh, Isaiah 14 and uh, 1. You see, because Yahweh Shai, the second coming of our Lord, the Savior, he is going to put us back in the land. That is the that is the only straight way. It's no other way. It's not that you're gonna go over there and you're gonna, you know, uh, build your own community and try because you are an Israelite. You feel entitled that you can stay over there. No, 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 no. Our heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, He gonna send to put us back in the land because that is prophecy according to prophecy. That is what is gonna happen. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And you speckled birds who look like the heathen, you know, but are Israelites. You're going to be put back in that land. Israel, Yasharallah, because we are the prince of the power. Yasharallah. You see? That is what is going to happen, man. So, yeah, man. With that, you know, I hope uh, it was edifying. So, uh, I want to give the... Highest honor, glory, and all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rachakwadash, Shalom.